So Pajarito Mesa is this really, it's just amazing. It's this like community building activity and all of these people have come together in all of these different ways. They have a community center that offers after school programs and tutoring. They do a food distribution program through there. Um, but we're right now sitting in the mobile clinic van, which is one of the things that comes through periodically. Um, they try to come through once a month. And that provides um, basic healthcare services to the people who live in this uh, neighborhood, although neighborhood's a pretty strong word, a uh, vicinity. And the people who live here, um, they don't really have a lot of access to health services. They need a lot of health services, like they're really underserved. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of New Mexico has been partnering with the UNM School of Medicine since 2007 on the Pajarito Mesa Initiative. It's a wonderful initiative that brings health care to a community that uh, otherwise wouldn't have uh, access to health care. I think Dr. Kaufman and Dr. Gomez, they came up with the idea of actually bringing the clinic to the people here because the people couldn't make it to the clinic and they were, uh, they were afraid to go to the clinic. Um, we come out here and we do physicals, um, we do really basic lab work, we can take uh, people's cholesterol and um, blood sugar, we talk to them and then we can prescribe them medications and give them referrals to uh, resources that they can use in town. 150 over 90. That's good. It's a pretty extraordinary experience. I work just at the bottom of the hill here um, in the South Valley at First Choice. I'm a family doctor there. Um, and in such a short distance, maybe a 10 minute drive, you know, conditions are dramatically different. The needs from a health perspective are dramatically different. Um, I don't think I've been anywhere in the United States where I felt like the social determinants of health, the social factors in people's lives are so completely obvious in terms of you know people's access to foods, in terms of people's access to clean water, to uh, sanitation, all of those things. And by not having those things, the impact on people's health um, is dramatically different. We've been well received by the community. Certainly having the van has made an incredible difference in our ability to uh, brave the elements and do a more comfortable uh, medical interview and uh, medical screening. One of our most recent grants to UNM School of Medicine for the Pajarito Mesa Initiative was to move to an electronic-based medical records. This system converted the paper records for the patient seen at Pajarito to an electronic record. It's ena enabled us to gain the trust of the community and the trust of, of, of its members. You know, now they feel like they have the freedom to come and, and get their food baskets, that they can come you know, that one time a month and get free medical help. Oh, I'm, I'm very glad we're in partnership. It's, it's uh, an incredible resource for, for us to be able to use in, in delivering uh, health care to this community.